What do you get when you feed genetically modified corn to genetically modified yeast? Well, isn't it obvious? According to the FDA, you get milk, but you get it without the cow. You may have heard about the new animal-free dairy milk, Bored Cow. Maybe the non-animal whey protein, Way Forward, or you might have heard of piggy soy, the soybean that produces pork protein. There has been a recent explosion of these lab-grown foods, also known as bioengineered foods, which use genetically modified material inside of a process called synthetic biology to produce bioequivalent foods. And the FDA is fully on board without any concern for your well-being. Essentially, it doesn't matter if your food was grown on a farm or in a test tube. All that matters to the FDA is the finished product. They say the process used to create the food is irrelevant and that these foods from a regulatory standpoint are the same as their biological counterparts. In the case of the non-animal milk product, Bored Cow, the company uses a fake whey protein called ProFirm, which is made by their partner, Perfect Day. They claim their product is a new kind of animal-free milk alternative made with real milk protein from fermentation. They say, quote, tiny organisms called microflora are fed simple plant sugars, which they convert into dairy identical protein. This is where the entire process becomes insidious. The natural health community is used to seeing terms like fermented, fermentation, and microflora as positive, healthy terms. But these companies are using these terms to hide their biofood concoctions, which are most likely the furthest thing from healthy. What they should be saying is that they add cow genes to genetically modified yeast, feed it genetically modified sugar, which starts a fermentation process, and that results in a protein byproduct, which is chemically identical to whey protein. And they should also mention that just because something has the same amino acid and protein peptide profile does not make it equivalent to the original food. In fact, the Health Research Institute, or the HRI, a nonprofit independent lab examined multiple samples of bored cow's original flavor milk using mass spectrometry to test the claim that the synthetic protein it contained was the same as real milk protein. HRI compared these results to samples of natural milk from grass-fed cows. Their testing revealed 92 unknown molecules and a fungicide. HRI expressed concern that these molecules have never been studied by scientists. They don't know if they are safe or dangerous, and they don't even know if they are nutrients or toxins. Sadly, this fake animal protein is widely available on grocery shelves from several different companies. Well, at least it's easy to recognize these foods because they have to bear the bioengineered seal on them, don't they? Wrong. This is the cherry on top. Even though these products are made from bioengineered ingredients, they do not have to bear the bioengineered product seal since there isn't any detectable bioengineered or genetically modified DNA in the final product. Yikes. According to the FDA, bioengineered or genetically modified food only counts if it's the end product. If your food doesn't contain any genetically modified DNA, it doesn't matter where it came from. I'm going to make sure to steer clear of lab-created meats, animal protein-producing vegetables, and any other science fiction concoction. These foods are being approved under a system that disregards the process by which a food is created and is only concerned with the finished product. The FDA has made it clear it believes that gene editing and similar techniques can be used to produce foods that are supposedly identical to traditionally produced foods. And the idea that scientists can mess around with natural systems, editing genes and fermenting fake frankenfoods to create bioequivalents without a deeper understanding of what that means for human health is without a doubt a recipe for disaster. So if you can figure out how to milk a cow and get tomato juice, you'll probably get FDA approval faster than you ever thought. And you'll be able to legally claim that your product isn't genetically modified. If you enjoyed this content, please make sure to like it and subscribe to the channel so you never miss a week of the news you need to stay healthy. Again, I'm Danny Curtin. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.